Pizza on Broadway. So that delicious burrito I uh, selfishly he bought for ate, himself. Yeah. Um, is now paying off. So wow. everybody's welcome. And shout out to Bidia. <laughs> 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 Oh, that's what I'm saying, geez. This is this is this is, this is what I was like. You feel me? Like I didn't have breakfast this morning. Same. And it's cold. You feel me? Good time. Good time. Yeah. It's, Just yeah. dip it in there, and then you know, yeah. add your hot sauce, your that's lime, and then you're okay. ready to go. Yeah. Because that enhances the flavor. Welcome to episode 27 of the Brown Bag Podcast. I'm Rose Gransvik. Santa. All right, now we can talk normal. Okay, so what has you dressed like this and came in, coming in today, Santa? Oh, uh, you know, today's a great day for the kids. Yes, it is, it is. Brown bag emailed me. Uh-huh. Miss, Miss Santa told me I should come. Miss Santa. So I'm here. Um, Mrs. Claus? Mrs. Claus, Mrs. Claus. How yeah. many Aidens are on the naughty list, Santa? Too many to count. Too many to count. <laughs> Do they I have support all my children. Mm. And if they might not get a good gift, but they will get a gift. Mm. What about the ones with silver teeth? Those don't get a gift. Uh, <laughs> do Edgar still count as kids? From the age of 12 and down, yes. Mm. Age of 13 and up, stupid haircuts. Okay, just <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do Edgar's ask for for, for Christmas? <laughs> Pomade. <laughs> <laughs> MCM backpacks? Yeah. When is, the, when is the real day someone should celebrate Christmas? Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, Santa? Depends on the color of your skin. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> is there anything that you would like to share with the world, Santa? Is there any questions you guys have for Santa? Sure. Yeah, what's what's the best uh, Christmas meal that you've had? Mm. Something that people call pozole. Mm. <laughs> so we should leave that instead of cookies. Yeah, cookies for white Santa. Oh, my <laughs> um, how do you make your reindeers fly? Very cool. <laughs> is that what saca la bolsita means to Santa? Yeah, but it, mine isn't a bolsita. It's a bolsita. <laughs> How do you get around the whole world in one night? Perico. Oh my God. <laughs> Santa. For all the little kids that are watching last episode, they thought you didn't exist, but we have you here to show that you do exist. Ho, ho, ho. Yes. What do you That's have what your mom is. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> is there a city that's your favorite to go visit? Dai. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Why? I'm there for a fun time, not a long time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is Jenny69 on the naughty or nice list? On the nice list. She's on the nice list. You uh, liked her song? Yeah, I sang it when I was flying over Riverside. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's OGZ on the naughty or the nice list. Him on the nice list. His haircut on the naughty Oh list. my gosh. <laughs> Mario Lopez on the naughty or the nice list. Mm. I already reposted you guys. Yes, yeah. you did. That was yeah. that was love. That was love. Shout out to him. Nice list. Okay. Oscar de la Hoya. Naughty or nice list. Perico list. <laughs> <laughs> did he steal from your reindeer? <laughs> He actually comes visit them all the time. <laughs> I wonder why. He spends a lot of time alone. Lots of yeah. snow. Santa, what is the Chris? What is Christmas all about? Is it about you or is it about Jesus? It's about the kids. It's about the uh, kids. And pozole. And pozole. <laughs> and tamales. And tamales. And for my white fellows, cookies and milk. Cookies and milk. I'll see you guys on midnight on twenty fourth. Yes. Will yeah. you be dancing with us, partying up? Yeah. Make sure you have some Casa Freaky for me. Casa Freaky. <laughs> Thank you, Santa. You're welcome. Okay. Where's Duno? I'm back. Okay. That yeah. was so itchy. Oh, you did so great. What a great actor, huh? Yeah. You're wow. really great. That was fun. <laughs> you really great. We should make a Mexican <laughs> Christmas movie. You then. literally said the IE was your favorite place to... That's super funny. Dance over, to fly over. Keep I'm, it on, though. I'm going to keep it on, but yeah. I just want my hat. Oh, I love it. Well, welcome to episode 27. Are you gonna, this is going to be part of the episode? Then this clip's going to be fun to make, huh? Um, <laughs> we should disclose. <laughs> we should have disclosed five minutes ago before he took off his stuff for your kids not to watch anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but just like, just FYI, like kids, it, this is a joke, but he's just representing the real Santa. For everyone, 
whose kids watched or listened to the episode last episode and we didn't do a spoiler alert. We apologize. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, life is tough. You Imagine well just, that's how you... might as well just get to know now. Imagine that's how they find out. <laughs> like, on, later on when bag. they're adults. Like, how did you find out? I'm that, not even going to say it. That's a good oh, ass story. Oh, it's because I was watching Brown Bag. With that's my a mom. good ass story. That's, yeah. that's marketing in the future, too. Yeah. How did you tell Little Vic? I haven't he told him anything. Oh, shit. We're going to move on. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> this is actually part of the Edgar Report. Did you see the video of all the Edgars going to see Santa at the yeah, mall? Yeah, that was awesome. I that think was it was cool. Stonewood Mall. Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm just making You that could up. tell the mall by the by how. No, I just made that up because that's oh, where okay. the Edgars kick it a lot. Oh, but, um, the Edgars kick it in Stonewood. <laughs> Facts. Yeah, no, that was dope. That was, uh, it was like a, a, a lot of people, everybody sends me like Edgar content all week, you know? Wow. Um, so they sent me that and I was just like, this is very wholesome. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was just like, it was nice. Nothing negative about it. Nothing like, negative. it was just, they're happy. They're all in their pajamas. Right. They're going to see Santa and taking like funny pictures. It, right. was, it was cool. I like that. They were like, wepping all the way to Santa. Mm -hmm. They were doing a little wepa dance. Yeah. What's the wepa dance? The whole little, the, the cumbia little shit. Show me, please. Do -do -do -do. If I don't know how to do it. Does anyone Can know? Can you guys show her the, the weapon? Just look oh. up WEPA. It's a, it's a little thing. Oh, I got little as a WEPA. <laughs> They're doing that. That's so awesome. Wow. Can we do the WEPA? No. Let's insert that. It's kind there. of like sea walking. It's, it's the cumbias, uh, cumbia. bailan, uh, yeah, in, the in the quinceanera. Thing. It's very similar. But kids get all creative. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's like sea walking, jerking, and. Cumbiaing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that probably also an and that's b-boying. That's probably also an indigenous dance from back in the day. It's been repurposed. So they were doing that. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know the Edgars have a dance. Yeah, it's called the Web. I, I think it's that's Edgar News. That's Edgar News. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out the Web. I wish I could do it. Yeah. I wish I knew too. Oh, so do uh, any Edgars like real life Edgars? Like real mm -hmm. Edgars? Like they're proud of it? Like Maximo? <laughs> oh, no. oh no like like not, not yeah yet. watch <laughs> this we would like to have an editor on here oh yeah and then teach us the web can we have the one that's part of your family oh you don't fuck with bro huh? <laughs> why did you do that <laughs> he's the one that said it's because he got pregnant by a wild editor on live <laughs> <laughs> to your cousin we support you do we i support Vic. no my cousin no it's his oh. cousin, I support oh, his cousin. Okay. my girl cousin oh, okay. yeah love her okay. um Okay, so I actually, um, speaking of Edgars, I got like the whole backstory about Edgars because I met a beautiful, lovely lady um, from wow. Dallas, Texas, right? Mm. And she was explaining to me like how the whole Edgar thing came about. There's like proud Edgars over there. They'll literally kind of like refer to themselves as like Edgars. Over here in LA, I noticed that like right. if you call somebody an Edgars, kind of a diss. It's kind of a slight, you know what I'm saying? Right. But over there, they also have a lot of truck. Like the, the whole thing is like, centered around their, their troquitas and Ibru. shit like Ibru. that. And like, mm -hmm. it all kind of just started out there and it spread out. It started in Dallas and spread out like further. Wow. It was pretty interesting. She was giving me the backstory about Were it. Were they young or older over there? Young, it's all just like a young thing. It's only like two, three years kind of like yeah. old. And then I feel like it came to Cali, like what, like 2019 maybe? You know, it's cr I think so. But you yeah. know, it's crazy that, um shit so like shit I was a, a little homie still to high school and there's not like like in my area there's not a lot of Edgars mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. but I think like like down the area and mm -hmm. like Southgate and like yeah. the IE and like right. deeper they have like more shit like more, the price is a little more activated mm -hmm. it's it's where they have a lot of the Edgars mm -hmm. that come but but where I grew up, like a lot of the homies that I like still live on the block and I'll see them coming from school like like and they're like in bigger groups I'm like I didn't see one Edgar mm. yeah Maybe they'd be clowned where you're from, too. No, where I'm from is, like, very, like, I'm wearing my socks to my knees. And yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Sock check. There's yes. Sock checks going on. Yeah. Yeah. That so, yeah. Cool. Shout out to Edgar. Shout, shout out to Edgar. Edgar's. Yeah. Edgar's. And shout out to you for being wholesome and going to see Santa. Yeah. Do you remember seeing Santa? Do you ever have I don't remember. You know who used to bring me gifts? Santa? The firefighters. 
Shout out to Never. Mm. Shout out to the firefighters. Shout out to the firefighters. They did a, I remember they, I think to this day they do it. Shout out to Grove. The Grove used to give out crazy gifts. The Grove? The Grove used to do like oh, this wow. gift thing and they used Fire. to like just bring gifts for the kids. That's dope. Did, how so, about you? Have you ever been to see Santa? Um, I'm sure I have. I can't recall any like any uh, memories, like memorable memories mm -hmm. myself. Um, but I also didn't like really believe in bro bro that uh, that long you know what i'm saying so but i take my son you know every chance i can but also he's kind of like i don't really want to see him like yeah. does he have gifts for me like not, <laughs> you know like my son's very like matter of fact right he's like, yeah we're gonna see him and then what <laughs> <laughs> and it's like fool you said so. yeah 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 he's like let's just go to barnes and nobles you could just buy me whatever i want over here and i'm just like you know what's crazy that like, you're not like that so he's very like his mom like they're very straightforward, like, ah, we could do this, but I really don't want to do it. He's, everything is just like, eh, I don't want to do it. And I'm like, you don't run your life. Like, <laughs> I am in charge yeah, of you. I, I say we're going, so we're yeah. going. And he's like, ah, and I'm like, no, there's yeah. no, uh, like, And then so you stay. <laughs> and then you're like, fine. No, no. no or you no. make him go. Yeah. It's weird seeing you guys be parents sometimes. Because I've seen, like, 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 Fakasa Freaky Vic, you know what I mean? <laughs> And I've seen like Letty Junk. Obviously, we the world has seen Letty Junk. <laughs> and you guys gotta understand when Dom, like, like for even Maximo, Maximo like the most laid back person. Like we yeah. talk about his younger days and graffiti and shit. And then when he's like a dad, he's like, you can't do this. I you can't you do mean, this. Like, the, the, the Max, please stop. Yeah, and then and then it's like, oh shit, I'm not talking to my right now. He's at a guy. And then and then Letty <laughs> when she like sits there and talks, this is why we're not gonna do this. Yeah. And it's like, okay, let me go this way. And then Vic's yeah. like. No, go play. And you as We're a dad? about to leave. And you as a dad? <laughs> I'm not a dad yet. So. No, but how do you feel like you're gonna be? I think I think I'm gonna be pretty. But obviously, I think I'm like very like yeah. Fool, I run your. This is no, you're until not. you're 18. But what do you want, baby? Okay, baby. No, that's not the way it's gonna happen. <laughs> if you're a Pisces, for you're sure. You're gonna have a girl for sure. <laughs> your girl's gonna run your life for sure. She's gonna run it, but and she's, she's gonna not gonna, gonna like, own it. Be like, come on, dad. <laughs> <laughs> come on, dad. If she asks for hungry. anything. Yeah, you're gonna. You're I'm gonna be gonna, like, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna be like, damn. I want you to love me a little less. I'll be there once a week, so we're not that close. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean. Like, like it's dope. I think it's dope. But it's like, but it's like, but but it's like very different. Like you could tell, like Maximo when he talks to his daughter, it's a different type of demeanor. It's like, uh, it's more like, it's like homie homegirl, but she's still her dad. I think that's dope. Yeah. Like. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> but even with you and Jorjito, like, you and Jorjito, okay. like, you guys get along really cool. But he also knows when you're the parent. Yeah, Jorjito's little man. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's like that with, with Little Vic, where, like, sometimes I see them laughing together like they're homies. But then when he's to go on that mode, he goes on that mode. I think that's dope. But it is kind of weird seeing you guys be, like. I get what you mean, because you see, like, like, I mean, it's just that we're all, you know, obviously, like, multidimensional. So we have this side of us and then that side exactly. of us. Exactly. But you see the other side of us most, yeah. mostly the other time. And you're like, how's that the same person? Yeah. <laughs> but, but, like, all our parents are like that, bro. You know, like, yeah. especially, like, getting older. Like, I'll be chilling with my parents, my mom and my dad. And I'm just like, you guys are gross. Like, <laughs> the jokes you guys are making, like, very inappropriate. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to find I my Santa photos for you guys. You have Santa photos? Yeah. Then my mom used to dress me and my sister in the same thing. Oh. Uh -huh. You guys don't have siblings that you're that close to? Mm -mm. That you get dressed the same? Nope. Yeah. Well, I'm the only boy and they're, they're girls. So they could can dress a guy and a girl the same. No, no, but they're like way older Didn't than you. Didn't like you like wearing dresses? What happened? You liked wearing dresses. <laughs> Did I like wearing dresses? Yeah, remember? I never said I like wearing dresses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you love wearing dresses. <laughs> no, yeah, and then plus my sister's older than me, so they like ruined everything for me. Like, yeah, Santa's not real, fool. Mom's gonna get it. I'm like, oh <laughs> shit. I was like, fuck. <laughs> my sisters were very like bold, they didn't give a fuck. Like they used to just ruin shit. Your mom didn't match your sisters? Like make them match? No, because they're all um um older than each other by a couple years. Mm. So it's like one's already over by the time the other one's ready to do whatever like yeah. it is, whether it's and shit like that. Are you still funny. looking for your son of a? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for mine when I was little. I know my sister would have posted. You think it. you think little Vic already knows that he's not real? He just wants to use it as an excuse to get an extra gift, maybe? He's he's like that. He would that's something he would do. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> definitely something he would do. He'd be like, All right, yeah, I got your gift, now I just need Santa's and then we're good. And I'm like, What do you mean? <laughs> I can't find it. I know, I kind of running the pod. Uh, I'm so sorry. 
<laughs> can you see what I'm doing? Your wife looking me off. <laughs> women, can, women can do multiple things at once. Well, let's talk about your fit. Let's talk about your fit. I, I yeah. like I like it. It's it's all matching. It's um, I'm not sure who Noel is, but it's pretty fly. <laughs> and then you got the matching. You want to talk about my fit? What is it? Your what is this? Your hood day or something? <laughs> I like your fit, Vic. You like it? it? Yeah, I, like I like it, it too. I've never, I've never worn orange. Care. So does Herbert Hoover. <laughs> <laughs> it's not his name. Today's like warm day too. Like everybody had like, everybody except, oh yeah, everybody. On uh, skinny ass food, wear jeans, everything. <laughs> you know, obviously, I, I don't know, the podcast probably doesn't know Miguel, but people Miguel? that travel in jeans. Yeah, Miguel, our photographer. Oh, I thought like Miguel, like. No, not him. Let my love adorn you. <laughs> I I always call him a girl for wearing jeans on flights. Dude, I don't understand why people <laughs> fly with jeans on. That's so gross. Like, fool, like, put some, like, be comfortable. Yeah. Like, bro, when I, bro, like, for, I hate when girls do this, by the way. Whoa. This is my biggest pet peeve. Okay. Like, airport fit. <laughs> That's your biggest pet peeve? For you to go sit down. Nobody's paying attention girls to your fit while even, you're going to TSA. Girls haven't even traveled in forever. You know what's my pet peeve? How every girl's going on a journey. Always. Oh, that <laughs> Follow me through my journey. I know. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You got flown out. <laughs> it's just, everything's fuck? a journey. Like, you do three squats, follow me on my journey. Like... <laughs> Dude, your fitness journey? Uh, my fitness not a no, fitness journey. Bro, you, you, you know what squats, I hate, too? And I'm going to say <laughs> Only yeah. girls do that? I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. And they I'll do put, it the most. Like, I'm going to say it. I'm going to put in the bra. And I'll put money on the bra bag. Where's the ball? <laughs> oh, hold on. Hold on. I'm not going to say no wild shit. Okay. But I'm going to say the word. Just, I'll punch you. But I'm going to say the word bitch. <clears throat> okay. That's one. I hate when bitches <laughs> go read books at the fucking, at the beach and swear to God their life changed. <laughs> <laughs> Two dollars. You said you're gonna put money. It's in, it's in my other pants. It's over there. Pat my wallet, please. Like why? Why the beach? Bitch, you could have done it at home. At the line oh. She wanted to go to the beach, and oh. I swear to God. Oh my God. Look. Hey, real quick, real no, quick. No, let me let me have an answer. Was it three bucks? Yes, it's three dollars. Okay. How <laughs> ah, more? So, man, you know I'm put everything. I I <laughs> get why I get why. <laughs> I get why a young lady would do that. Wow, okay, tell me. Because it's nature. You're closer to nature. You I never seen you pull no nature shit. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not saying me. Oh. You're, are, are you talking about me? No, I'm not I've never you. done that. No, no, no. I'm not talking about you. I use audiobooks, first of all. So I would not post Do you really? Book. Yeah. That's fire. I have a little I'm, library I'm in my phone. Enemy hand, Excuse enemy my enemy hand. Okay. Um, but yeah, you're closer to nature. You're closer to God. It's serene. You have your time to yourself, and you're reading a book. No distractions. Mm. It's nice. What do you do when you go to the beach? I go over there and play football with the homies and drown the homies in the water. And you something. don't feel closer to God when you do that? No, I oh. fucking have I fun and just saying like that they like swear that that like just changed, that changed their your life. life. Yeah, I I, 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 I fucking like for you were just at the club last night getting drunk with me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you ever think about this too? I'm with you. I get it. Did you ever think about this too? That's why I've never done it. I'm so glad. <laughs> like, like you know how girls have this thing where they go like at peace. When they just lay down in the tub and show, show their feet outside the bubbles. And I'm like, dude, your phone's going to get ruined. The speaker's not going to work after. It's just a little shit. Like, yeah. I just, shit be blowing my mind, honestly. If, you're, if, if your girl gets you a cologne for Christmas and it smells super bomb, do you get mad? No. Okay. Why would I get mad? Oh, because what if her ex-boyfriend... Like, how does she know how that smells? Like, What about her dad? Yeah. She wants yeah. you to smell like her dad? Like, if my guy got me a, a perfume, I'm like, who smells like this? <laughs> Why does your mind go to that, though? Because I'm a woman. No, mm. it's because I'm Letty. It's totally uh, a Letty thing. You know what happened to me one no time? No one else thinks like I do. One time, uh, a girl bought me a cologne that I already had, that some other girl had already bought me. Damn. And it was funny because I was like, oh my God. Like, Give me of a saying, hint and what? let me see if I can guess the cologne. Okay. You're crazy, by the way. Um, no, because guys only have like the, <clears throat> the few colognes that a girl would buy them. Um, well, How would I give you a hint? Give me a hint. Like, it smells kind of sweet. It smells kind of sweet. Yeah. Like, it's not too musky. Okay. Is it Aqua de Gio? No. no oh, no, okay. No, no. I'm not dating Cholas. 
don't know. Curve would be cholas. Yeah. Curve would be cholas. Was it curve? No. Okay. <laughs> Platinum Chanel? No. Shout out to Dom Kennedy. That was a Dom Kennedy sign. Platinum Tribune Chanel. Tribune. Tribune. The first cologne I ever spent money on, I was like, damn. Shit, a lot of money. I don't think I've ever bought my own cologne. Did you guys ever get the fake cologne at the 99? Or like oh the yeah, yeah that the Michael cologne. Jordan cologne. There was a cool water. No, there was like a cool water kind of cologne. I saw it last the ten yes. minutes. Yeah, it literally yes. just went away right away. She but it was like the color you? blue. Like yeah. it was like oh shit, this is it. That fucking Michael Jordan cologne was killer. Yeah. The Adidas Sport cologne. So what cologne was it? <laughs> oh, it was Givenchy. Oh, and, um, I would call it G- Givenchy. Me whatever. too. Yeah, whatever yeah. it's called. No, 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 I know. But it was just funny because I got it and then I was like, she's like, oh my god, do you like it? And I was just like. You, yeah. you said like the other girl got it for me? No, no, no. I was just like, I just had to like, like sit there, yeah. and like I'd Bless never you. seen it before. I'm like, oh my god, let me see how this smells. Like, da, da, da. I'm like, you, wow. You yeah, I'm like, oh my, oh, it smells so good. And then I'm like, oh yeah, let me go put it on. And then like, it was just funny. I'm like, I already had one. I had to hide the other one I already had, and I put it yeah. in my like, in my. I dresser. on purpose will funny. not wear the Chanel one, like Coco Chanel or something, because I low key feel like. Jorge must have dated a girl that smelled like this before, so I'm not gonna remind him of her. Cause you know sometimes you smell things, the, the and smell it gives you the is memories. The biggest memory thing. Yeah, it, it like brings you back to someone else. Yeah. So I am not doing that. I'm not giving you memories. I'm gonna go find a random ass unique perfume. What fools? Michael what? Jordan. You toxic cologne. as hell. <laughs> yeah, you're okay. you're crazy. Yeah. Or <laughs> or I'm smart. No, that is that is why. For you think Jorge yes. after two kids and yes. and yes, being married, yes, yes. he goes like. Huh, my ex. No, but smell. No. <laughs> All right. I what you're saying. Smells uh, trigger. What is this bacon? What is like the smells bacon? You co- you're not gonna cook bacon? I already don't cook bacon. So. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I thought about that already. Tacos. Right. Well, yeah, I'm the about, only yeah. toxic person in this whole room. I have no toxicity. Okay, here. actually, I want to talk about no that. toxicity. Here. What's like, like, what's the most toxic shit you've done during the holidays? Clearly that. <laughs> you just don't put it on. So let's say no, you I just it. don't. I just choose not to wear it. I know too many girls that like wear it, or like too many guys that talk about girls wearing it. That I'm like, this is already a thing with some of the. All right, so um, can I give you a, a scenario? Okay. Let's say you have no lemon. I mean, you have no lemon. You have, <laughs> you have um, you have you have no deodorant. Uh-huh. Nothing, nothing. <laughs> no no lemon. You, <laughs> you ain't never done that before. <laughs> Let me push you guys out. Oh, real he gave the answer. <laughs> Hold on. Well, you never been broke before, fool. <laughs> Hold on. What do you do when you're broke? Don't have me on the side. It's okay. I don't know. If Valley I'm broke, Valley I'm going to use my lemon for my cup of noodles. I'm not going to use it but on the Before the yeah, because it takes your smell away. I'm just going to be smelly. <laughs> no, it's a thing. I'm with no, you. No, yeah. Okay. That's a thing for the elbows. What? So what, what do you do? Elbows are, are dark and shit. Oh, I thought I thought I thought it was because I think it kills like the sense of smell. But I was saying, so let's <laughs> say you have no deodorant. Like, the other like, option yeah. is put lemon so you don't smell. And mm-hmm. then is uh was was the thing the Chanel? Oh yeah, the Chanel. Okay, are you wearing it or no? No, because I'm literally. You guys don't know me clearly. Um, I've gone without deodorant. I've recently started using deodorant mm. because I saw this thing and it's gonna sound weird and I don't care if you judge me. But Cameron, I'm married already. I have kids already. Killing me vale. Um, Cameron Diaz or one of these white bitches was having an interview. Come <laughs> <laughs> back, come back, come back. back. Yes, yes, yes. Is yes, it? Yes, yes. I'm, I'm Cameron Diaz is Latina for the record. There can be white Latinas. She, like yeah, there's she, like Afro Latinas. Like, she's Latinas. like Cuban or something. Thank you, know. Papacito. All right, there's, go to there's, high school my, no there's my one dollar. Yeah. yeah. That was hilarious. Was talking about <laughs> how she doesn't yeah, wear deodorant, yeah. and she's like, "It's actually deodorant that makes you smell because you get so used to the deodorant that when you don't have it, you like, you're like, oh my god, the bo smells really bad. So then you need one to cover the other, but one kind of creates the other, which is I don't know. That sounds like some shit Jamaica would say. Yeah. <laughs> I've been around you guys this whole time since the summer. Yeah, yeah you, you don't smell. Yeah. You don't smell. Yeah. Fuck with me, dog. Fuck with yeah. me, dog. I respect it. Yeah. Well, how about you? You had the either choice to um, cut your nostrils off so you don't smell, or wear your girl's ex's cologne. Oh, I'm wearing my girl's ex's cologne. Oh, okay. Yeah, what's And she's going to think about him. She is, you're probably already wearing it. You don't even know. <laughs> which curve do you like? Oh, which, Fahrenheit? Remember Fahrenheit? I used to love how guys smelled in Fahrenheit. That sounds familiar. No, nobody? LA, did he ever date yeah. a cholo? Yes. Oh, just, Not just, proud of it. But shout out to Cholos. 
but mine was a piece of shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. And did he dedicate you like Lost in Love by MC Magic? Cholo? Who, who didn't? Oh, you did get that song dedicated but to you? Cholos doesn't Cholos aren't the only ones that dedicate that. Somebody that Have wanted, you ever dedicated Lost in Love? I dedicated Pretty Girls, not Lost yeah. in Love though. What about you, Vic? Lost in Love is a dedication song. Uh Pretty Girl for sure. Yeah. I wanna get lost in love with you. Oh yeah, that one's deep. Dude, yeah, that one's like, yeah. damn, you like ran away and now you're staying with me. I no, like, you uh, know, daddy, <laughs> I'm in love with the thug. <laughs> and those videos are always so extra. Like, she's at a hotel with with her total boyfriend. Know, you know, and the daughter dedicated? comes to save her. You ain't gotta stay too much. I'm gonna look in <laughs> yeah, your eyes like it's a you wanna fuck. <laughs> And you ain't gotta come to me just as as you, you guys just gonna it. crack oh, into that song. That's no, the shit. No, wait, you you to, to, that's so hiding go seek in the dark right there. So so fly right there. So oh, so fly. So, so cool. Another song. Baby girl, can I talk? Oh, to oh my god, I'm sorry. Give me so fly for, for one, one night. night. Let, Let me know if you're down to ride. So fly. So Hey, real quick, real quick. What's like the one song that you guys remember you guys had a crazy night in high school with? Like what's the one song that when you hear it is like, damn, I remember that night in high school. For me it was like right after high school. Um, what's that shit? Uh, the Kid Cudi song. Um, the one that's like uh, EDM. Pursuit of happiness. Pursuit of happiness. Yeah. Oh, favorite memories. Nah. Memory. Yeah. That, oh, memories. Oh, yeah, those memories. Yeah. Oh, hey, shit. hey. Shit. Dun, 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 dun. Like that one, just like you know, just ecstasy and just like. Oh wow! Oh my god! Like look at the lights! Like it's crazy. But that was like a little bit after, like right after, like a week after high school finished. Damn. What about you? Um, baby bash sugar sugar. Damn, mm. you had a freaky freaky night. That's awesome. I used to go to night school. I don't know why. I was really smart. I like to go to night school. But like, you would like for extra friends. credits? Yeah, for extra credits. But then all the bad people were. Oh. And I like them bad. Ah. Uh, uh, I was a nerd. Remember we just talked about last yeah. episode? I'm fucking Dweebs. dweeb. Yeah. Wait, so you were the dweeb that I that went to like, night school, but I was like, tell me with my homework, yeah. fool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, tell the story. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had a dude that I thought was my boyfriend. Damn, now, oh my gosh. You're such a fucking <laughs> dweeb. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? It's a I safe really place. loved it's a safe him. Place. I really no, loved not. him. <laughs> it's a safe place. It's two cameras okay. recording. <laughs> safe place, safe no, place. No, I really loved him. And he cheated on me. Wow. And then he asked me, can you still do my homework? And I did. Oh, dude! Because oh. I liked him a lot. Fucking music. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Oh, fuck. You should have gave him all the wrong answers. <laughs> I like doing math. Like, I really like doing math. Yeah, apparently he did too. <laughs> yeah. Hey, he, liked, he liked to add I, one. <laughs> <laughs> I hey. hope that you in the comments write how much they bully me because. Hey. You know, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Not to divide this number. <laughs> Four two were on his homework. <laughs> his name was Early. Carry the one. That's his real name. <laughs> we turned it in with fucking with a lipstick. <laughs> that sucks, man. Oh my god, you used to try to write like him so you could pretend he did it. Oh. No. He had nice writing. I didn't have to do that. Damn, you were a fucking dweeb, way. Oh. Damn. Damn, what's his name? Early. Mm -hmm. A stupid yeah. name. Yeah. But he so his name up, was early. He fucked up though. Like, he would have been. On, huh? Jokes on him. He could have been yeah. a stay-at-home husband, probably. Probably. Yeah. All of these. Early left too early. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. I didn't know that was really like how bad I've had it. Anyways, <laughs> what's your song, fucker? <laughs> anyway, sugar, sugar reminded me of him. You know what's crazy? My song was probably like, um, I did Milwaukee Bucks by Frosty. That's crazy to say that, huh? Yeah. We used to I be at the function time. just Mil going. Milwaukee, I need my, my bucks. bucks. That was wow. That was like a crazy, crazy time. And Vinny West. Um, oh, bitch, I'm two player. No, no, the other one. Which one? Oh, no, 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 no. Mike Sherm, asshole. Oh, okay. okay. That was like. People love that. At the function, song. I was like. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting the crack, good boy. But yes, oh, those songs were a great time in my high school years. You know which one just popped into my mind, too, that I have good memories of? Sexy Bitch by Akon and David Guetta. I feel like that's a forgotten that song. Go? Damn, you's a sexy bitch. Dun, 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 Is it like LMFAO era? Yeah, like kind of. It's yeah. like EDM type shit. Yeah. That was like, that was like when I was like a senior, junior. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Sugar, sugar. Damn. 
That was for sure like me in middle school. Yeah, that's actually like good. good. Yeah. It was me in ninth grade, okay? So I was, yeah, I was, sixth I was grade. just yeah, so we're, yeah, we're, we're damn near, you know, classmates. Yeah. You too, uh, bitch. What? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even say nothing. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> How did you say nothing? That's why I already left. Probably. Yeah, I can't. So like, so you guys only dated during night school? No, we dated. So you were his school. night girl. I, no, stop. He had a day girl. If early, I, shifts, I know I you're early out Early morning there. girl. He had shifts. <laughs> hey, but what high school is this? Hoover. Hoover High School in Glendale. Early. He he's. Class of what? I don't remember. He was older than me. Oh, uh, what a dick. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> she had you early and fumbled the bag. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. You know what's fucked up, too? Because I've always wanted to be in radio. Anyone that knows me from any part of my life, so everyone I went to high school with, middle school with, and elementary school, knows, like, oh, she wants to be in radio. And, like, it could happen. Like, they know where to find me. So does early know you're in radio now? Probably for sure. Huh? Probably for sure. Did he tell him, did he tell early your dreams? Early? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He knows, he knows all of that. He didn't give a fuck, but he knows all of that. Like, can we please move on? I'm so tired of this stupid ass <laughs> Fuck. Oh my God. Damn, like, that's crazy. Yeah, let's move on. <laughs> What's your Christmas tradition at your house? I want to do Christmas before we get into Don't You Know I'm Local and CNR. Okay. The Christmas tradition in my house, I don't think it's nothing too crazy, but I know like, like not to put my family but out there, but I know for a long time there wasn't like everybody wasn't cool. Um, no, there just wasn't really money around, mm. so they would always do an intercambio mm. just so everybody could at least, at least get one gift. Like Secret Santa. Yeah, like like and and yeah, I know that's, that's when I say Secret Santa, I be thinking about it. Eh, that's that's kind of weird. But yeah, we used to do an intercambio, and it was and it was dope because you could like like example like when my nephew was born, he got like my oldest uncle. So obviously my sister will get the gift, but it'll be dope because. My nephew will give like my uncle something cool, and yeah. then so I think that was, I think like I, I'm I'm pretty sure it's not like a real crazy tradition. Oh, I mean I think they take the bebe el niño, they take him to the church and stuff like oh, that. Oh yeah, like the the posada is a tradition. I think a posada yeah. tradition. You guys know one time my sister and then broke the bebe. Oh, they had him like in the thing, <clears throat> and they broke him, and obviously it was an accident. So my aunt, um, which I love her to death, my aunt Rosa, my tia Rosa. She's like the super religious one. Mm -hmm. And she was like, it's okay. And everybody started crying because she's like telling everybody it's okay. But you know, when you, you kind of feel like bad, like, oh, damn. Yeah. Yeah, I broke baby Jesus. I broke baby Jesus. <laughs> and everybody's like crying, laughing at the same time. And my aunt's like, God, God knows it was an accident. Oh she's like, God. but that's, I think that was, sweet. That's yeah. Sweet. What yeah. about you, Vic? Um, we also had that tradition uh, at my grandma's house where we carry the, the Nino Dios. And then we um, say like a prayer and then everybody like kisses them in a circle. And then we put it down and then we pray um uh like the rosario a few times mm -hmm. and then we all kind of like give thanks for what we're thankful for that year and then we open gifts it was like as a kid it was like the longest process in the world I'm like, oh, i want to open my toys <laughs> but now i really appreciate it because yeah, it's fine. like a dope tradition everybody goes around and like says what they're thankful for and stuff like that or um it just like Cool, and then and then kind of um, a few years ago, I started writing everybody uh, Christmas cards, and you guys know I'm a good writer, so like I would just write. Dude, I want to try that. What? Where's ours? Oh, it's not Christmas yet. Oh, but we're not gonna see you on Christmas. Wait, you gonna email it to us? Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. Um, but yeah, so I I would do that, and then like I guess like I hit a soft spot certain times when I will write, and then like everybody was crying one time. Like, oh, everybody was just crying and I was just like oh my god what did I do like <laughs> it, like obviously like happy mm. tears you know and then I stopped doing it for a little while because I was just like oh, it was a little, a little yeah. too much too much I, writing or no emotions. it wasn't no, too much. it was just a lot of emotion yeah, like yeah. I was just like damn I gotta I got top this yeah. next year like damn I don't know what I'm gonna say <laughs> but hey, yeah we, we do stuff like real that real quick I wanna know a quick story just yeah. real quick do I? I, okay, it's, it's, I think it's funny okay. I asked Vic to be his intern before I popped off wow and then he's like, I'm gonna get back to you. Never got back to me. <gasps> Vic. I have the Twitter messages too. Can Wait, I see? On Twitter? Let yeah. me see. Let me see too. Cause what whatever. made you wanna ask Vic? Because in high school, and, and I'm a homie, I love writing. I love reading. Like, 
I'm like a huge fan of like when people write stories and like what? and like dope LA shit. Like bro, I read this shit. Like bro, I be reading Vic shit for real. No, he knows. He knows. I talked about him before. Like in high school, like in high school, like man, I wish I could bring up like my senior project. I wrote a big story about how graffiti like changed my life and I went deep and like yeah. So I think so. I Vic and he turned me down. No, it wasn't that. Honestly, I do remember that. Well, and thinking, let me see it. I want to see. I, I would have to look he like might have, he might it have, might be like three years gotta old. He's gonna go to Vic's page. But I'll send a screenshot. It's, not it's, not, it's nothing like, crazy, obviously. But I, like, I remember him saying like, "Yo, if you if you need anybody to write, like, let me know. I want to help." Imagine but, Duno doing articles. That would be. That's what he wanted, but I didn't amazing. see. I like maybe. I'm sorry if I'm if I'm it, wrong, but it's I glad that, that he turned me down. I'm so happy. He did no, no, I didn't. Because writing's a lot. He's a good writer. I didn't see that for you. Not that you can't write, but you were already doing so many things. I'm like, dude, like writing is fucking. Tedious. Yeah, it's its own it's thing. Bo- mm-hmm. I, I mean, I love doing it, but at the same time, like, yeah. I don't sit there and do it anymore. Like, I was just like, he's fucking, like, next insert huge right. entertainer's name. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I just personally, like, I talked about it with Cali. I'm yeah. like, I don't want him to be one of our, like, fucking intern writers that just, you know what wow. I'm saying? No shade to that. It's no, just, yeah, not for sure. No, I'm glad he turned me down. Crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I just thought it was funny. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. Funny. That's crazy, huh? Yeah. That's what now we have a popping like, podcast, so it worked yeah. out perfect. Facts. Isn't it crazy how we met the same day? I don't know. I always say that, but we all met the same day. Yeah. What? You met Letty. No, we. you met us at the same day. No, I met you no. separately. Oh, no. Yeah, but I'm saying. Yeah, actually, you met both of us I the same day? I met both of you the same day, yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. Wow. Man. When I met Letty, I thought I was going to get in trouble. <laughs> Can I say my Latino um Yeah, yes. what's your tradition? Sorry. Tradition? Well, my, my grandma used to do this RP, and I've been wanting to do it again. So she, um, the nativity scene, how do you say that in Spanish? I, it's leaving my brain. Um, uh, what? It's literally a, a word in Spanish, you guys. Nacimiento. Uh, Nacimiento. Yeah. Thank you, Angie. Yeah. The one in my house is popping right now. I was right. A flick. So my, my grandma used to, my grandma used to get like this, it, I don't even know what, what it was, but it's like little steps, and it's like made of fake grass. And she would get any little action figure she saw. Like, if we got Burger King toys, she'd be putting it. So it was like Jesus and then, like, all the toys you've ever, like, seen in your life. So they were all there for the nacimiento. And I remember her doing that. And since she's passed, no one's done that. And I've always wanted to do it again. But it needs to be her thing. Because I think she had it built. Like, like just imagine a bunch of little steps. Like, a bunch of little steps and then Jesus on the bottom. And I'm like, no one makes just random little steps. Do you get what I'm saying? It's like yeah. a whole little. I don't. I don't even know what to call it, but it was really cool. So that was the thing that I missed. That we should do. I'm that's probably gonna end up doing it one day. That's super dope. Yeah. My mom's like big on decorating for Christmas. Yeah. Like nacimientos she, are shit. Uh, that must be a lot. I know it's a, a nativity scene, whatever. But nacimientos are clutch for Latino households. No, yeah. My mom has like the nacimientos, and around this she has like little fake crib, and then for little yeah. casitas yeah. that the house inside lights up. I and love to look at that. And, and then it looks like a little sure. town. But that's why I think like. Certain movies were always like, bro, like, if I ever get a house, I think I was telling Letty this, like, bro, decorate your house with a bunch of things. She's like, mm. But I'm like, bro, I've been seeing dope houses where they have, like, lights everywhere, and you I think it's dope. You were telling me that? Yeah, I told you. I was like, why do you have a bunch of lights? You're like, eh. Why don't I? Yeah. Oh, I would like lights, but I think we just missed the, the point now. And then now everyone's doing the, like, the... It's the, like, like super a, extra shit? No, it's like you just put something in your grass and it shoots up the, like, a projector. The lights, yeah. Oh. So you don't really have to do much. And so that's what, like, Jorge got. He got, like, something you just stick in the grass and it just projects snowflakes on your house, like, instead oh. of actually getting lights. So, mm. But, yeah, it takes away from it. Yeah, I feel like people are lazy to put them up and take them down. Yeah. That is a lot of work, though, huh? Yeah. Whenever did- my dad does it, I'm just like, oh, I'm busy. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I think it's bad I luck to leave, like, to leave your tree up. Is that really a thing? I feel like we need a shot. Okay. Because I feel very bored. <laughs> and I'm on the I think it's because I got food coma. Look at yeah. And Santa Claus took all our Big energy. Break. And clearly everyone loves Turn Letty, so. Oh, shit. We're back. Um, you know it's funny because on YouTube, Jose, incredible editor, incredible job. I love my Jose. Um, he puts in like a like a we'll be back shortly, and it's like music. 
But on audio, I feel like they don't. They just start hearing music out of nowhere. Yeah. So just if you're hearing this on audio, just know the music means we took a break, and maybe you should just watch the YouTube. But it's fine. <laughs> so we love you all. Real quick, um, what are some? Uh, we're talking about context, like. Were like, we? No, no, no. Oh. Me and you, like the, for the homies were calling me, and they're like, then we have different like random contact name for everybody. What is right. for? What do you have me and Vic under? Same, same. Vic Rosecrans. I don't know why it's flipped. And Duno. Oh, okay. What do you have me under? Letty with two question marks. I mean, wait, wait. I mean, um, exclamation marks. <laughs> like Letty. Letty. <laughs> <laughs> <Exclamation mark. laughs> and then I have Vic under Rosecrans. Vic. Yeah, Vic. Right. Letty Peniche. Yeah, yeah. What? Oh, because he's a little more Letty, formal. I'm Letty, dude. Yeah, but you know how many Letty's are on my phone? I was like, ah! no, that's good. No, no that's just Letty Peniche. That's true. Letty smash it with a passion. What? <laughs> no, the other Letty. Oh my god! Wow. I was like, uh, oh, I, was like oh, god. I am not going to. <laughs> Bro, people were really mad at me because uh, cause the the dip the cook in your coffee thing. <laughs> I was, getting was a, funny. If I was getting a bunch of screen record. I'm like, dude, chill out. Right. I was literally talking about the co the cookie into the actual coffee. <laughs> the cock. No. <laughs> you said it. I said, said I was talking about the cookie. <laughs> the cock. Into the actual coffee. Oh, oh my god. I can't do that. I bounced. <laughs> All right. Now is a way better podcast because we took two shots. Yeah, facts. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You know, for the weather's a little gloomy. We ate great food. So we're a little like food. Did you ever up. do chorus or like do the Christmas like a uh, recital in school in elementary school? Yeah. Where your parents came and then you sang like Feliz Navidad and like Frosty the Snowman and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did. You did too. Yeah, I did too. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I went to white school. Oh. But I'm pretty sure they did it at the ghetto school. Too. What white school did you go to? Brentwood Science Magnet Elementary. Oh, wow. And Brentwood. Like, what okay. Christmas carol do you remember? I sang. They were they were super multicultural. So they okay. so we did a lot. We did like Feliz Navidad. Uh huh. Um, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Yeah, it's the same song. Oh, it is. Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> is it? Yeah. And shout out to the Feliz shots. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> I want to wish you. A Merry oh Christmas. my God! Now we did that and. <laughs> and obviously the Rudolph the Red Nose and then yeah. um and then yeah that's, that's pretty much it how does Rudolph the Red Nose Red Nose though? I forgot come on let's do it let's get it let me see, let me see. they love when we sing no you know what's the best when DMX did Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer yeah, <laughs> Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer oh, is it is it had a very shiny nose yeah Yeah. and if you ever saw uh, him yeah. you would even say Hello. No. Oh. <laughs> All of the other reindeer. Hey. I forgot the you song. You still laughing? Call him names. Uh. They never let poor Rudolph play in any reindeer games. Come on. F I forgot this. Fill it in. Just fill it in with whatever okay. you want. Then one foggy Christmas Eve. He did a lot of pericles. <laughs> Santa came to say. Rudolph with your nose so bright. You could do more Perico <laughs> tonight. <laughs> All right. Well, that was our version of. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, dang, that's not. Frosty nice. the Snowman. There's a lot of Perico. <laughs> oh, okay. He's white. Frosty the Snowman. Uh, Milwaukee Bucks. <laughs> <laughs> not that one. Shout out Frosty. Said Milwaukee, I need my, my bucks. bucks. <laughs> okay, I'm going crazy in the functions. Um, Hey, do you guys know that um, Catholics? Damn, fool, you know what's crazy? Damn, fool. Hold up, chip out, chip out. Okay. I always thought it was actual burrito. Christmas <laughs> 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 yeah. burrito. You know this burritos asada, el burrito de sabanero, please. Can you ask for that for, for Christmas? To go, because I'm going to go to Belen with it. <laughs> And then the homie was like, hey, fool. No, because one of the homies, like, that don't know Spanish. He was raised by, like, Chicano parents. So he's like, so it's not a burrito, dog? Mm -hmm. He's like, no, fool. A burrito, pendejo. He's like, a burrito? Yeah. They were like, having a, he's like, dick, like a donkey. And he's like, why is a donkey so happy? And I'm like, oh, my God. But oh, what does sabanero mean? I thought that was a hot sauce. I would never believe that. I thought it was a chili. <laughs> I just saw like a big oh, burrito yeah. full of habaneros, like. Fire. <laughs> shit. For Angie, all Angie walking with it. Spicy as fuck, bro. Oh my Yo. god. Damn, shout out the shots. Huh? But what does habanero mean? 
Why Maybe. hasn't Why hasn't no like restaurant Miami. remakes that? I know, right? True. Mm. Come get your burrito habaneros <laughs> in camino to your house. <laughs> Guaranteed to burn your asshole. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, true? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? A whole burrito full what of habaneros? What does sabanero mean, guys? Apparently, burrito sabanero mean, mean donkey from the Savannah. Oh, like probably sabanero means Savannah or something. Mm. Oh. We had it all wow. wrong. We're, we're frauds. What did you think it meant? I thought it was sombrero. <laughs> like, I thought it was like... Oh, that's worse than me thinking burrito. No, canceled. it wasn't. We're yeah, we're canceled. just getting... Well, I feel like no one knows what sabanero meant. Yeah. Yeah, but as a kid, I didn't question it. Well... That's yeah. great. Shout out to us. Shout out fucking. We all had it wrong. We all had it wrong. <laughs> what other Spanish one was it? Of course, there's Feliz Navidad and then the Belen song. That's it? That's it for Christmas? I think what so. What do they sing on Posadas? They sing one like, the like, let me in. Posada. So, that one? Get it, get it, Angie. She about to hit the high note, G. Hit it, hit it, Angie. Yeah. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Ooh. Angie, do it. She has a good church voice. that one. And then there's the Besas in the Rio. Yeah, that's the, uh, he's the yeah. happy Jesus is born. Yeah. The well, one Vic didn't know? Yeah, you didn't know it. No, Vic didn't know. <laughs> she doesn't remember. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, you were drunk. <laughs> <laughs> that was before I was drunk, guys. Oh, shit. Hey, real quick. So Did you drunk. black out? I totally, I don't remember who I got for fucking <laughs> Secret Santa. By the way, we're not doing Secret Santa on this uh, video. Sorry about that. Um, we lied. We <laughs> all, I forgot who I got. We were all supposed to meet at Santee, but some people were late. And so we just ended up just coming here. But we are still going to maybe not film No, it. not a But we're going to check it on our, on our Instagram. Not by Christmas. So be, yeah, for Instagram. Maybe we could do it as an Instagram live. Yeah. We'll okay. do it as an Instagram yeah. live. But it will probably happen even before you see this video. <laughs> More than likely. Well, just check our Instagram page. Yeah, fact. Stop being a dickwad, okay, naughty what? boy? Dickwad. You're on the naughty list for that. I'm on the naughty list? Yes. For yeah. not believing in us. What? More than likely, it'll be later. Oh, no, I'm, I mean... Yeah. We have Jose now. <laughs> nah, come on, shout out my guy. Shout out Jose, he be doing overtime. Facts. Yeah, he does. Shout out to you, Jose. Yeah. I'm gonna get you Thanks. a bur burrito sabanero for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. The real one or the burrito? <laughs> Whatever he wants. Whatever he wants. <laughs> All right. Let's move on, my little buddies. Okay, uh, let's not move on yet. <laughs> so we saw this, this thing. I didn't even read the article. I'm so sorry. I hope one of you did. Please have read it. That Mario Lopez got um, saved by a curandero in Mexico. Curandera. Curandero or curandera? I don't know. It was a curandera. Curandera. It, oh. it was a curandera in Mexico. <laughs> it says curandero up there. Wow. Maximo's wrong. Did you read the article? I did. Okay, what happened? So basically, he was like in the hospital, and then he said that his. God, people can't take people seriously. Like this. Oh you guys don't respect me around here. I'm trying to have a conversation. No, it wasn't that. It was curandera. You know, like the, the beer brand XXXO or whatever in Mexico? It's like, it's only a Mexico brand. Oh, oh but don't like it. Oxo. 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 But is it Oxo or is it Ojo? Because you know how we... Like Spanish, it's oxo. Could, it's oxo. but oxo. do you know how Spanish doesn't use the X? Like Mexico, that's an X, but they say it like. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it no, no, but that was oxo. That was oxo. All right, just saying. So then Latinx means something there. Then if you guys don't know, oxo is like Mexico Seven Eleven. Yeah, facts. What if it's ojo? Yeah. No, because the word X in Spanish, like Mexico, is an X, but we 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 pronounce it. How? How? <laughs> I'm gonna spit at you if I do the next one. Oh, <laughs> it's like a spit sound. Yeah. No, because I was telling uh, Xochimilco, that's XO. So. So. Oh. Xochimilco? Yeah. And yeah, but it's not an X sound. Oh, you know, if we, if we know a name like that, I for you Like you the X sound? Oh, X? Oh, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. two X's. If it was one X, You're yeah. It's like right, the L's, right. the two L's. Yeah. yeah. So, like Chiclali, my cousin named Chiclali. Yeah. And I never knew until I got older that it was pulled with an X. Yeah. Uh, Dumbass. I was thought it was Chiclali. It's like a Q in the motherfucker, too. Yeah. That's crazy, man. <laughs> For real. Spell that? It's our Can Aztec lineage. Sh we need to like, learn that more. She, all right. There's a X dude on TikTok I that does Aztec sounds. Q A T L Y. Say Correct. Again? Chiclali. X. I. Oh, mm. Q. Oh, never mind. Because I know someone named Jimena, and it's an X. But oh, it's for Jimena. real? Yeah. yeah. Javier is an X. 
but it's Javier, yeah. like Xavier. Oh yeah, Javier oh and Xavier shit. is the same name. On, the fuck Aztecs. with me, dog. It's ah. fuck with me. Hey, why do you think the Aztecs were like that? I don't know. <laughs> why were they like that? Why were we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the road session begins, brothers. Oh. Anyway, Mario Lopez. Oh, yeah, what's the story? So he was like in the hospital, I'm guessing, and he's like, I feel like I wasn't feeling too good. Mm -hmm. And he said that he basically snuck out the hospital with his dad. I, I, I'm pretty sure it was his dad. And they drove to Ensenada to a curandera, and he got fixed. Wow. So what, what did they fix? Like? Yeah, what did they? Do? I'm not heated. I don't think he went too into detail about what they did. Yeah, what, what they did. But I'm it. pretty sure, like, creo que like le limpiaron las bad vibes, las malas vibras, <laughs> and like he was definitely went to Mexico like this and walked out like this. What if a curandera made him look young forever? We need to go to her. Damn. Facts. Yeah. Facts. I needed a curandera Saturday. I was going through it. <laughs> Saturday was. A Trip. Well, now that you're there. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, I was talking about the whole, well, you know, the whole day. Oh, yeah, Vic had a long day, you guys, Saturday. Yeah, facts. Tell us about it, Victor. Um, so, obviously, uh, Once Upon a Time in L.A. was Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, we were all very excited to go. Super. Um, I perhaps was a little too excited. Mm -hmm. uh, did a poor job of planning and uh, coordinating, you know, everything. It's a learning process. You know. Uh... But yeah, it was just like I had disappointed like twenty people by ten a.m. Mm -hmm. It was like it was nuts. Like it happened sometimes. It was yeah. It was like I just like I was late for everything, yeah. and then my sister had like a gender reveal that I couldn't make it to because I was going to Once Upon a Time in L.A. Then I even got there late, <laughs> and everybody's waiting for me. And then I was late to my barber appointment. Like it was just like it was just one of those things. Like wow. Nice and ate breakfast from Seven Eleven because of Vic. Yeah. And the crazy part was that. Like, I didn't go out the night before, and I'm In like, preparation of I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I have to be good tomorrow. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna drink, I'm not gonna do anything, I'm just sit here and rest. Oh. So, I had like all the best intentions, you know? Everything went terribly wrong. Yeah. Um, I got in, we meet like them, they were already inside, they took forever to get inside and stuff. Uh, eventually, we all met up, you mm -hmm. know, we had, we had a good time. I mean, right? Everybody, yeah, no, no, it was eventually. Man, when, oh, man overall, happened. like, I, I gotta experience the whole like, being in a car, that was that was yeah. a double big first. Walking is for yeah. something. Yeah. yeah, walking is for. Well, don't get used to it because that's that was the privilege. That was yeah. fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just know that we had the all access passes. We had the all access passes. So, what do you want to say, Josh? What do you keep saying? We took, we took forever. <laughs> <laughs> Who we took, took forever? Yeah. Who? No, we all did. We took oh. forever. Yeah. <laughs> that's why we didn't get in. Yeah, yeah. we took forever. Stop taking forever, Josh. No, but yeah, overall, I, obviously, like, tragedy happened towards the end of the festival. But overall, the experience we got to enjoy, which was like, in um, man, shit, me, Josh, and um, Vic got to meet um, Danny Trejo. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Me and Letty got to interview um, Sakuran, which was yep. dope. Um, Drummer Boy, mm -hmm. um, shit, we took a picture of RJ. We, yeah, was who else did it with me? If, um, um. We saw Snow the product. We saw Snow the product. Yeah. You feel me? She was like in a rush. She had to go on stage. We was yeah. barely leaving. Yeah. That's like a round interview. So it was like a little, yeah. it was a quick little like acknowledgement from both sides. Yeah. Um, well, so it was a bunch of artists. Inhale. Uh, oh, Inhale. Baby Stone Gorillas were in the building. Yeah. Baby Stone Gorillas. Letty met OGZ. Yeah, I never had met OGZ before. Mm. Um, we seen g -Eazy. Oh, we seen G-Eazy. Dude, we seen G-Eazy while me, Vic, and this like one had a bunch of plates of food yeah, to go upstairs. Yeah. Bro, he's taller than what I expected. He's, tall. he's really shit. tall. Yeah. You guys didn't think he was tall? He, was he really looks tall. like he's going to be tall. No, but he's like 6'8". You know what? You know what? Maybe because he looks small again for next to me. Nah, bro. He's like 6'8", bro. Like. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro was like 6'8". Like, he could have started for the Rockets or something. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. Man, it was dope. We seen, like, when we were back there, um... Um, shit, we even talked to like Ron Ron and Jug for a little bit, and we see yeah. like a lot of King Lil G. Oh yeah, yeah we talked to King Lil G, um, and then we even talked to like it's crazy like seeing like a bunch of like the older artists that were on there, mm -hmm. and you don't really remember them, but you know their songs by memory. Mm -hmm. Like Brenton Wood, we probably saw him, but we didn't recognize him right away. Mm. But we all had sang um, 
We seen our green, like the Icy Brothers. That was yeah. crazy. You saw Ice Cube backstage. Yeah, I was yeah. walking into the backstage area at the same time as Ice Cube, and I was just like, damn, sick. I'm like yeah. three feet away from him, you know? I remember Stuff seeing, like I think it was Corrupt and Bone Thugs walking together, and I was like, yeah. oh, this is why. Yeah, like it was, man, it was dope to see like the young and the old and, you know, just get together. The concept mm-hmm. for that festival is so fire. Yeah. I want to say, like, um, shout out to the homies who, you know, helped put the creative aspect of it together. The branding was everywhere. Right. It was dope. Just the concept of having like three generations of music That's that really what it was. we all listened to in one place. All the culture colliding. There was um, low rider exhibit. Right. Um, murals by you know local artists and stuff like that. Um, it was yeah. It was it was a really good concept. Um, oh, then we even saw Little Rob, but we didn't get it. Oh, yeah, we saw Little Rob. Oh, cool. yeah, yeah, but he was with his daughter. Yeah. I mean, with his oh. was the guy with his son, and and obviously his manager and his girl and stuff. We didn't want to interrupt, but he he was just super like crazy stuff. Yeah. His shirt wasn't arrugada or nothing. He was, oh yeah, he could never. He yeah, nice. he was. I um. When they when it says like once upon a time in LA, there's like the storybook vibe to it, mm-hmm. like once upon a time, and I think it's because these this is the type of festival that like you can only talk about. It's like it feels like what the fuck this is not real, mm-hmm. and I think just what happened towards the end with Draco, really not only is that like a tragedy for Los Angeles, and and I remember like we were doing a post for our brown bag page, and I didn't even know what to write. We we were lost for words at what happened. And it was just like, you know, like last night we lost Draco. Last night we lost. All of us lost. Like, even if you may not have been a fan of Draco, I think just being from L.A., we lost a lot because it's it's taking away more than the artist, which is sad in itself, and the man, which is sad in itself. It's going to take away the festivals in L.A. again. Because I think just, like, there's a reason why festivals happen in San Bernardino and not Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. And I think this was probably, like, the a hopeful attempt Mm-hmm. at trying to do it again and trying to bring that energy back to Los Angeles. But I think the energy that L.A. is in right now, we've talked about it previously. It's just it feels odd. Like it, it, it feels way more heightened than it usually does in L.A. Like and this this I think fucked it up for festivals in the future. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mass gatherings mm-hmm. of, of people, especially with any type of hip hop, urban music, whatever right. you want to call it. Um, you know, my my parents grew up in like the generation prior where there was always you know car shows Mm -hmm. and that was kind of the thing um and all that had to end all that got discontinued for many many years because of things like this yeah it gets too dangerous there was always danger involved um and people getting hurt and so there was like nothing for many years and then finally you know things started to you know kind of lighten up and there started to be more gatherings and I remember I went to actually to um, to EDC mm-hmm. in LA. The last year was in LA, and the reason there was no more EDC in LA is because of all the chaos that mm-hmm. happened. And you know, it's like boom, they took that shit out. Now it's San Bernardino or Vegas. Right. You know, you're not gonna see like a rave or anything like that in downtown LA. So that was gone. Then it was like, okay, now they're starting to bring back festivals. They would only do them sometimes at like the Queen Mary. Mm-hmm. You know. And then now it's like, okay, they started to bring them back. They're like, okay, I think LA is ready for this. Right. And it seemed like we were for a few years, but yeah, you know, obviously. And I, I, I think the, again, clearly like a huge loss, but I think when you're thinking about it like a business, there's going to be lawsuits, rightfully so. But I think that if I'm an insurance company, I'm now, like it all goes back to the business end of it. If I want to create a festival, a brown bag festival in LA. The insurance companies are gonna be like, it's in LA, hell no, already. Or like, we're gonna hike up the prices mm-hmm. because we don't wanna end up being part of a lawsuit there's later so or whatever. Like, liability. again, there's so, again the liability of it for sure. Um, and again, we lose. Ultimately, we lose. Whether mm-hmm. you are a fan or not, or, or whatever opinions you, you may have over the person, over the festival, over like attendees, or over performers, it's gonna be we lost in general, like as the public, as citizens of LA. It, and, it's, and it's unfortunate. But for like what it brought to us, that energy was great. Like the, the oh wow, this is an incredible lineup. Mm-hmm. And we got that. Like, yeah. that's rare. It did seem like now looking back, it's like, Damn, I guess it was too good to be true. Mm -hmm. You know? That's Because that was some West Coast LA shit Mm -hmm. that was meant for us, for literally what we listened to 
you know, on the daily and, and what we have in our playlist. Um, but aside from all that, you know, the, the most tragic thing is, you know, the life mm-hmm. lost and Draco, um, somebody who meant a lot to me personally. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not going to say that we were particularly close, but our careers were definitely like intertwined a lot. The rise of me as a music journalist coincided with the rise of him as a rapper, uh, as well as like his stink team. I got to know them, Ralphie, you know, Ketchy over the years, interviewed them, did their first interview, um, interviewed Draco uh, earlier this year, uh, was really ecstatic about it finally happening. He performed at Don't Come to LA. Yeah, he, he performed at, LA, at our yeah. Don't Come to LA um, virtual festival that we were actually planning to put out in a few weeks, but now, you know, that's off the table. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with all that footage. We have about an hour or more of, of an interview mm-hmm. of his that is probably gonna be really harrowing to watch now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, we also had a, like an hour long interview with Ketchy as well. Damn. And it's really difficult now just with everything. They're both gone. The last song he uh, Draco performed in, in that was, was um, Long Live the, the Greatest. Greatest. You know what I'm saying? Duno's actually a part of it too, performing before. Um, it's it's a lot. I mean, all that is just fuck it. It's content. Who gives a fuck? Like, right. you know, um, you know, he was he was a man. He was a father. Um, you know, one of the torch bearers for LA that we can look up to and say like, oh, we got Draco. Like, mm-hmm. you guys, Atlanta has this person, mm-hmm. that person. New York has this person. Oh, we got Draco. We got Roddy Rich. We got. Yes. It's just something to like be proud of. You know that we always had, and and he can go bar for bar with any single rapper in the world is how I always felt. And it was a sense of pride of like, yeah, he's from he's from here, like, I fuck with him, you know, we have each other's number, we chop it up here and there. It's all love. Um, you know, now, now he's gone. Um, and it's kind of like, damn, like, the, it's just so sad. I'm, I'm really in a, like a state of like, um, disgust with like people, and it sounds really harsh, but like, damn, like we, work so hard in this city to get ahead and we get to a certain place and you know tragedy happens like that yeah it makes you feel like damn what the fuck am i working so hard for you yeah, know shit. i don't know you know that i know there's always like this image towards la about our our hoods and our barrios and our streets and our alleys and our but you know there's i i'm correct me if i'm wrong but i think Murs has a line where he says like for there's so much beauty like in the hood like mm-hmm. there's so much and and it's true you know like and he happened to be one of those like like beauties like the like the legacy the the dopeness yeah. from him like i said whether you like the music or not he he was popping off when i was like a younger and bullshitting so his music was dope like right. like all the shit from um silly billy to um mud walking to his impatient freestyle like you learn word for word. You have to function singing it. Like, I remember, like, I would have Gatorade in two cups for no reason. And it was, and at the moment, I don't think it's because of Draco, but he was like, he made certain shit cool for kids. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, um, and, and I was, and I happened to be one of those kids. I just, I, I um, obviously he passed away. So you, um, I was reading some of the things people were writing about him, like, like close friends, how he was like dope and shit. And obviously his age came up and I was like, damn, when he was like, his career was going crazy, I was like turning into like, I guess you could say like a young man, a young adult. Mm-hmm. So you, you start, I started, I started paying attention more to the certain lyrics and yeah, he was talking when he was talking, just like any LA kid or any kid that comes from a, a area of like poverty or like just where a lot of people don't understand. And he was probably one of the, he was one of those artists that you loved, but he was also misunderstood by a lot of things just because he was who he was. Like he, like I think I, I and I was telling Vic about this. Like his like slumpness rap. Like I, I was, I thought it was cool. Like yeah. you know what I mean. I'm, I'm usually I like a little, but you guys know that I like, yeah. like the mellow rap. So I thought he was always like dope and shit. But yeah, I think the the loss of him was like a big impact in LA. Like I said, like all the bullshit around it and. I know LA is gonna be in LA, and LA is gonna be what it was, right. and we've all lost like great homies, great people in our lives, brothers, sisters, mom, parents, cousins, whatever. But when um, you know, you also gotta understand that he was human, and whether he was this big artist idol, 
You know, he had a song with Drake. A lot of somebody in LA hasn't had that in a while. And I don't want to just put that, that was his only like legacy, but it was big, it was dope, you know? Like yeah. I could be talking to the homie from Houston or Texas or or Atlanta or New York and be like, well, yeah, Drake got a song with this. And then, uh, you know, it's just like, you know, like, so it's like, first and foremost, I want to like show respect to and love to the whole Sting team, his brother, his mom, his, you know, I want to, send my love and condolences and my prayers, you know? Yeah. Because regardless, everybody's still human. Everybody's still got people that love and care about them and vice versa, you know? Well, I think, too, like, that's what, like, you mentioned the Drake song. And I think that's what, what sucks the most because the worst thing of is is knowing the potential was there. Mm -hmm. And we know about the Drake, the stimulus package, right? When Drake mm -hmm. jumps on your song, it's actually meant to propel you to mm -hmm. like a, a bigger audience. So we know what his path is going to be. Like that, that that's kind of like a benchmark for like a younger come, mm -hmm. like come up artist. And so he had like all the right things to take him to the best place possible in music. And to see that cut short, that's kind of the, the sadness that I'm taking from it. I never knew him personally. I never mm -hmm. met him personally, but I watched from afar and i think that that's kind of like the the like damn we could have seen such a great thing come out of this and and again one thing just about the street shit i know enough to know that i don't know shit like i'm not someone that's gonna be like well he said this and this and that and here's what this because i think a lot of us are talking from a citizen's point of view and think we know hood shit, but there's literally a code that's followed by real motherfuckers, and all of that is beyond our knowledge. Similar, like, if you're speaking another language, similar to, like, why people don't know certain shit that goes in your, on in your household or within your friend group or within your community group, that's the same shit. And I think that it's a very easy thing to say, like, well, that's the type of stuff he rapped about, but is that the type of stuff, like, he was exposed to, too? Like, all of that has its, like, it's not like someone went out of their way and chose this lifestyle or are they just telling you what their lifestyle is like and kind of that mentality has to come with it so there's like a give and take i know enough to know that i don't know shit enough to say this is where this person went wrong and this is what they said about that and the third my biggest grief is with people that comment like well he did it to himself well look at the shit that he was saying and things like that like we do a lot of shit to ourselves all the time if you're texting and driving, do you deserve to fucking die? Like, no, like there's literally things that lead that we make irresponsible choices all the time. And you're not really thinking of like the full on negative effects about that. Of course, of course, you can go back and retrospect and say this is what's going on. But we also have to think that maybe that's something that has already been accepted in that lifestyle. And that's the saddest part. That they have to accept that this is something that's going to come from them, the experience of life that they have. So I just think more so like what ticks me off sometimes is when people have so much to say about this L.A. shit. Even if you're from here, even if you're here, you don't know what really goes on in some L.A. shit. Like, and again, I just know enough to know that I don't know shit. And that's why these fools are quiet, too, because we all know that we do not know as much as literally even on the surface. If we know, we don't really get it. We're not supposed to. The, it works because we don't know. And, and if I could just say, like, just be more, like, take a step back before you make some sort of commentary that's negative yeah, yeah about yeah. that type of deal. Unless you live that life, why are you talking on that life? And a lot of us, like, there's this this quote I love, and I've, I've said it since high school. Those who know don't talk, and those that talk don't know. And I always look at that when I'm hearing people, like, like, get all crazy with their mouth it's like oh it's because you don't know that's why you're talking like that and the people that are quiet those are the ones that really know because they wouldn't speak if they if they really knew their shit um no nah, that's true nah. and i had to touch on that because i know we're just gonna get the slew of comments like why are you saying r.i.p or shit like that and it's like no because it's a life lost at the end of the day yeah regardless. like like we didn't have no beef with him so like yeah. we could show our you know what i mean like yeah. we fuck with his music and, and, and he was a dope person every time you know what I mean? Like, yeah. and what's gonna suck as rap fans is like, like I'll put the mm. Young Dolph situation in perspective. Like, Young Dolph and damn, his his name is losing me, but we talked about him earlier. Like youngster. My fucking nose is gonna sneeze. Mm. Okay, it's gonna come pause. Black youngster and Young Dolph, like they were ops in real life, right? But I could be a fan of them both. 
And saying RIP to one does not mean like hating the other or like the other way around, right? So we just got to realize that some shit is really between people and some shit has nothing to do with us. No, I think... As public as they are. As no, like, yeah, well, I, they're, they're famous so we can talk as much as that's possible. No, and, 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 and Loki, I love that about like... Obviously, like not like that, but I think out of all three of us, I've probably been more into the fucking ocean than... Like, you know, and I, I like how you're like, mm-hmm. okay, that's like... Like, I'm... You respect looking at it from the outside mm-hmm. to the inside, and that's like something I admire from all three of us. Like, mm-hmm. even though yeah, I bullshit and been in certain situations, like that wasn't my situation. Yeah. So like, you know what I mean? All I could do is support, and I fuck with his music. I fucked with Bro every time I met him, and yeah. you know, R. I. P. to Bro. You feel me? Like, yeah. like you know, I sent all my condolences to his team. Whatever was going on in that situation, yeah. let. That's that their situation. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it has nothing. You, and and I get it. The fans are gonna want to question things and all that, but it's kind of like I'm pretty sure a lot of our fans, especially it's I've seen that we have a lot of like fans that are or were part of the street life and like in the bullshit. And I like how you guys like fuck with us because you guys understand that it's like everything has its own world. Mm-hmm. And you know when I'm in, in my own world, let it doesn't have to be in my world with me. Yeah. And if I if I choose to talk about what I've been through and what I go through with Letty, then I'm gonna do that. But right. Letty isn't there. Like, well, I'm gonna be with you. You know what yeah. I mean? And I, that's that's why it's, you just said it a perfect example. So it's because we're all everybody has their own world in their individual space. And you, yeah, you guys knew him for the music and stuff, but he was in his own world. Yeah. And you gotta respect and you know what I mean and respect that. So, but overall, we the Brownback team. We send our condolences and yeah, condolences you know, and to, to Ralphie, to his whole family, to his team. Taining. The the whatever situation happened there had nothing to do with us. We're that's their world, this is our world, and we're and we all have our individual world. Everybody in this team has individual. Every personality has their individual world. So you know, we were all raised and with enough knowledge to be like, if it's none of our business, none of our business. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But we did. We we are paying respect to. Him, his legacy, his music, and to yeah. his family, friends, and you know, yeah, um, you know, we wish him the best in the future, and yeah, and our love to long live Draco. Thanks. I'm not gonna lie, I think we need to take a shot for Draco. Yeah, we take a shot for Draco. Yeah, for sure. We have nasty ass tequila, but fuck yeah, it. it should be lean. Honestly, no, it should not be lean. That is illegal activity. Drinking yeah, tequila is not illegal. Yeah. Is it illegal? I think no. 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 The past it's just unsafe. It's just reckless. They have a cough. Yeah, if you have a cough, it's it's not legal. We have COVID. What? <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cough, though, no? Uh, yeah, it's a lot more than that. Yeah, fuck Don't it. give me that one, please. Don't give me that which one? Give me that one. Which yeah, one and which one? one? Give okay. Letty that one, because Letty's probably goes to her mom, and that's... Yeah, I was talking to my mom about this bottle. Tres generaciones. You don't know me, but what the fuck, dog? Like, I get it. So before, I'm like, mom, they changed the bottle. Like, it didn't look like this. So she's like, yeah, before it was the son, the dad, and the grandpa. I'm like, they should have kept that. Yeah. What is this? I don't know. This they just got scary. painted one like this. <laughs> this is the I'll take it off the bottle. marketing. Yeah, superame. Shut the fuck up. We're going to get in trouble. I'm sorry. I forgot his AirPods. Mm-hmm. Hey, oh, wow, we didn't. I'm thinking... You know, one, one thing I, I always love um, to, like, quote about Draco is um, when he said, I'm a sore winner. When I, oh, yeah. When I, when I win, I take the scoreboard with me. That's, like, so fucking cool. That's, like, a motto of mine, damn near. Obviously. I don't understand. Your husband's a sore winner. You don't know what a he sore winner is? He rubbed it in my face on every day I see him. Yeah, <laughs> like, that, that energy of just, like... I want you guys to know, Jorge sees me. After this basketball game, and it's been like three months, and he goes like, "So remember the basketball court?" I'm not, not even Maximo. I see okay, him more. Okay, but let's talk about this. If he, if you had one. Oh yeah. Yeah. So. I mean, that's what I'm saying. That sore winner energy. I like that shit. You All know? right, taking a shot. To Draco. 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 Cheers. And to LA as well. Yeah. Care for you guys. Stay safe. Stay dangerous. And stay beautiful. <sighs> Well, that was better than that. That was not better. I'm not complaining. Take these back. Wait, was that a rap? No. Oh. <laughs>
We got stay safe, stay dangerous. No, I'm we out LA. How can you stay I mean, safe and dangerous at the same time? I don't to. know, but it's doing. Do you want to talk about um, interviewing Sakura? Yeah, let's talk about that. You're probably gonna see it one day soon. Um, <laughs> Are you good? <laughs> Damn, that was, so you're bad. like, ooh. I feel like your meter is at the third one already. <laughs> you're in the third meter right now? Hey, that was I a good edit. I do not want Jose, Jose, to awesome. come out. Hey, do you like how, like, how does the creative shit come to mind? Is you're just. We, you know what I thought was the most creative part? The fucking background music you used. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Incredible. It's, it's, not it's not from TikTok. TikTok. No, come on, Jose. On oh, oh, yeah. See? When I upload it tonight, you know it's gonna be busting. Yeah. But it's not from a TikTok. No, it's, it's like, the yeah. song is popping on TikTok oh, right okay. now. Jeopardy, man. But if it, uh, it's not Jeopardy. What the fuck? The Compton Juan. Oh my god. Summer Madness. Sorry. <laughs> Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. Tell me you're born in 2000 without telling me you're born. Tell in me you don't know good music without <laughs> telling me you don't know good music. <laughs> Watch out for we got 2000 babies. Oh yeah, you're right. My bad. Um, no, but you know what summertime is. Like Will Smith. Yeah. Oh. No, it's not summertime. See, even you don't know. Oh, wait, no, wait. <laughs> oh, no, it, that was Ron. Ice Cube. Ice Cube. I don't even want to talk to you. That was Ice Cube, right? <laughs> All right, relax. Born in the 70s? <laughs> <laughs> I was. The 78, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, you guys, I love talking to Ron. When it just, that's what he just be like, yeah. Ron, yeah. you have to come. No one knows how you look. Can you please come over here? Do you want them to know how you look? Yes. yes. And you guys just know Ron dresses is young. For the for the for the for the um the Single mature ladies. brown bag baddies. Yeah. Las cuarentonas. <laughs> BBL's preferred. <laughs> no, no, no. One child oh. limit. One, so one no, child when you limit. come to Ron's house, there will be candles on in 1942. Hey, no, 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 no. But look, Ron has some some dogs. And if they in your front yard, just know no, upstairs he go hard. <laughs> Fuck your life. <laughs> Bing bong. Got two little French bulldogs. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you they in your front Ron. yard. <laughs> tell him, tell him, use the microphone, Ron. As as a person that's been in the industry for a long time, that's <laughs> such an uh, industry like. Yeah, okay. I'm so sorry. What I like about Ron, and I hope you guys can hear me on the microphone, on the camera. When people talk about hip hop, they always talk about like the Latino representation. A lot of it is behind the scenes, like, and that was Ron. Ron, how did your start, like, in marketing? Was it marketing? Was it PR? No, was I it... started out as an intern. But like for for, uh, for Forest Movement, yeah. but yeah, doing like branding and marketing stuff. Yeah. For them. Wow, for and, FM. Yeah, and then it led to but like was, you working oh, with dance, Snoop, flowing. and like that's how I met you. Mm -hmm. And it was really cool because it's like behind, like. Jorge, for example, behind the scenes with Nipsey. Mm -hmm. Ron is be was behind the scenes with Zoom. Snoop. God. With Zoom? <laughs> <laughs> All right, real quick, guys. Letty, first of all, Letty has uh, arrived. Yeah. But I just want you guys She's to know here. that we didn't invite her. She came on her own. She came to like, kind of all by herself. Yeah. <laughs> She's the one that comes and you're like, oh, here she comes. More shot Letty. Oh, really? No, I actually no, love Forshaw Letty. Forshaw Letty, not regular Letty. I'm shut Letty. this shit down right now. Forshaw Letty, yeah, yeah. She's she starting to come out. Yeah. Oh, shit. All right, um, if you're going to say bitch, <laughs> say bitch real quick. Like, no. <laughs> hey, real quick, Ron. Don't tell me what to do, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ron, can we get a list of artists that you've worked with, if you don't mind telling us? That I've worked with directly? Directly, yes. Uh... So I work with Forest Movement, uh, I work with Riff Raff, wow. Snoop, and then most recently, uh, the artist out of Mexico, Aleman. Nice. Um, Psycho Realm talked to us about Aleman. Uh, yeah. Psycho Realm, really good friends of mine. Um, Damn, fool, you're a legend. You know? And he's single, ladies, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> And he has, he two, has dogs. two French and his, bulldogs. And, and I his, got two his, French uh, bulldogs. His brim is pink. So just and his and brim is pink. pink. His hat costs 500 and just know, And just know, Ron could get you into concerts. Oh, yeah, facts. I can't Facial recognition. <laughs> Guess who's back? Party's here. For ah. Charlotte. What the fuck were you saying about I'm not invited to the garden? No, you're oh, for, for sure invited. For he meant. Not like the actual Letty, but the for Charlotte. That's because that's cause like I love both up. Letty's, like creeped up. but for Charlotte, I don't have to like be on her more like, oh, she's going along with those girls real quick. She might something crazy. So mm -hmm. I'm going to have to like sneak up behind you and like make sure you don't say no way out of pocket. Because obviously, if you get down, I got to squabble to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, you don't have the homie that you love being around, but you can't leave him alone because with, with, with somebody. Josh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. At the Josh. Dodger game, we're about to squabble some yeah. man. But it was like, like, he's like, no, 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 guys, I'll stay. I'll stay. No, what the fuck you mean you're going to stay? Yeah, you're, you're not going to leave me at leaving. Dodger Stadium. We're leaving. Like, and just know that the guy was mad because cause they were in the wrong seat. Like, Josh was like, and then Josh like, <laughs> What? And then, and then. What, at and, the Dodger game? It was like the wrong seat, right? Josh was talking about the wrong seat. 
and he was, bro, he was mad over the, Josh didn't even know the hot dog was there, it was mine. So, and, and, Josh, and then Josh was like, oh yeah, I'll move it. And he's like, okay, and he just, and I'm, I kept telling Josh, hey, screw over food, because he's gonna get mad. And the guy just kept looking up, and I'm like, Josh, move your jacket, he's gonna get mad, Josh. Like, instigating, I'm like, fuck it, we're gonna whoop his ass yeah. for being. With his kids there, that's not. No, where's the kids there? Yeah. Teach them a lesson, too. <laughs> <laughs> to not get out of line, or else your daddy gets whooped. <laughs> I love when Duno's cheeks get pink. I shout out the Dodger game, by the way. <laughs> then I'm lucky drunk with fuck. I want the Dodgers to come back. Kidding. We don't always get drunk. Is there a baseball lockdown? A lockout right now? There is. I think so. There's a baseball lockout. Okay, yeah. one more topic and then we're gonna do CNR and then we're leaving. Okay? I wanna take a nap. Here's the next topic. Did you know that your dental health is <laughs> 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 Combined with your mental health. <laughs> there's an your advertisement. Mental health is related to your mental health. So there's a study that says if you have like dental issues, then you're forty percent more likely to have depression and anxiety. So all this time I thought I was depressed because of COVID and the seasons when it's because I actually needed a root canal <laughs> and I have fucking cavities. <laughs> So you're telling me... Because I stay away from the dentist. So you're telling me... I that had a bad dentist experience when I was little, and now the dentist gives me anxiety. You don't but like I know dentist? I need shit. Like, sometimes I'll be eating candy, and that shit will start hurting, and I'm like, fuck, I have a cavity. Chew on the other side. I do, yeah, chew on the other side. <laughs> nice. you, know, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, um, no, but I like the dentist. I hate the dentist. I like when the girls stick their fingers in my mouth. So you like the dental assistant. Oh, yeah, yeah, them. Yeah, the yeah. dental Facts. assistant. This yeah. gets super freaky early morning. What do you... <laughs> you, you my, yeah, my appointments are usually like at 10. Oh, okay. yeah, Real 10 quick, morning. do you guys lie to your kids like Disneyland? Boom, dental. No. no. Dental no. appointment? <laughs> Did they do that to you? No, they couldn't afford Disneyland. I knew they weren't going there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, swap me. No, it's a dentist. Oh, no, I'm going to chill. Relax. You guys, you guys need to leave Letty alone. Thank you. She doesn't Thank bully you. me. Thank yeah, you. A little bit. Jokes. He, he bullies, jokes. Jokes. bullies me. <laughs> hey, you know what? Time off camera. It was the funniest thing ever. Letty was like, I don't know. I'm not me. I don't call you that fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has friends that actually <laughs> talk shit to him, say he's ugly, say he's fat, say all of this. I do not do it. Any of that. True or not true? True, but I was. This is what I, this is what I tell my homies. Like, fool. Verbo mata carita. What? Verbo mata carita. Your mouthpiece overrules okay. your face. Like, verbo. Yeah, but okay. You yeah. have a cute face. I, I know this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Out of all my homies, I have the best taste. I always date the prettiest face. girls. Face. Taste. I have the best no, taste. I think you have a cute oh, face. thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> you have a cute face as well. Thank you. Very beautiful face. Vic, you have a cute face as well. Thank you. Thank you. My boy. <laughs> <laughs> and then you know you look like one of my teachers. What, what? Yeah, he got bitches or what? Yeah, I'll fuck it. all the girls were in love with him in high school. I, I, I understand. So why. here's a question for the guys in the room, since you guys want to talk about dental and mental health, which I thought was crazy related, because then like, does no, that mean Aiden's are fingers. gonna grow up with depression? <laughs> cool. a good question. Aiden, like silver tooth kids. Oh yeah, oh. they grow up. They grow up. Sorry. So just if you, ha if you have, like, if you're feeling anxious or a little bit depressed, go to the dentist. Maybe that might help out with your... Yeah, get a, get, do you get you a guys, cleaning. Do you guys yeah. think that parents create depression since yes. they yes, bribe their kids parents. with candy? And the kids eat candy, mm -hmm. they get cavities, and boom, depression. Boom. <laughs> and their sugar That's, rises. Damn. To their hemoglobin and stuff. That's blood. So you guys are depression... Enablers. And they, that was I didn't know the word, but you, yes, yeah. that was. You the know, word. my son doesn't like candy or chocolate. Shout out to your son. I don't know why. I like when Orito was here. Get all the candy you could get. Yeah. <laughs> shut him up. Shut him up. Shut him up. So, okay. Well, now that we're con uh, talking shit about my parenting, let's move on. <laughs> yeah. Great parent, by the way. Facts. How are you guys for? How are you guys for Christmas with your booze? Like, what's going on there? Are we getting a girl present? I think I'm gonna get a present. Princessa number two, Princessa number one. So you're talking Vic, right? Yep. Um, mine won't be in town, so. Why not? For, for you in taking trips? I mean, they took. I mean, yeah. They. No, I like. <laughs> she, she, she took a trip. She took a trip. <laughs> I'm sorry. She took a trip like out of town. So. Is this the Can one? We need an update on Jail Bay. Even if she's not Bay anymore, like what? Jail Bay. Yeah. Um. How's she doing? That's like the home girl, you know. We're cool. We haven't seen each other. We're just rock solid, you know. Fucking, are you gonna put money okay? in your books for Christmas? 
No, no, she's out. She's, out. she's oh. on the streets. Yeah. Well, in case for the future. I'm <laughs> 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 No, yeah, yet. No, she's cool. We just, we, we'll randomly, like, laugh at each other's stories or something. It's nothing serious. It's just, I it feel like we're at different points in, in, in life. Right. We haven't even tried anything like that. Like, no dating or nothing. Mm. Yeah. That's crazy. What about you? I think I'm going to get a gift. What? Who? You're going to get a gift or you're going to give a gift? I'm both, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, no, yeah, I'm going to give a gift. How much How much are you planning on spending? Right, what, because is this, is this a new relationship? Or is this a new whatever it, ship? This a new um, issue. Issue? issue. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no, oh no but yeah, it's, um... <laughs> what? I think it's a well-deserved <laughs> gift, I mean... Okay, I like that. I like that. That's good. Like, it's not a house, but... <laughs> yeah, no, 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 but it started this year, right? So It started this year. If it starts this year... Do you get them something big? Do you get them some? She she expects like a fucking I, Louboutins, or should she expect I, like fucking a gift card? I didn't give my mom Louboutin. Okay. Well, yeah, I don't think your mom would wear. Yeah, my mom's like, yeah, <laughs> my mom's like Doug Martin or something. Yeah. Like, but but I, I but um I at this point I don't know what I get my mom sometimes. So I just get her like I give her money and you go yeah. like. But I think for the for the situation, mm-hmm. probably like a pair of shoes. Nice. You know, maybe put her on something she's not usually wearing. Wow. So you Would f- you get her a pair of shoes that match your pair of shoes? Because Loki, as a girl, I like that. Mm. I think it's cool, like, having his and hers. Uh. Like, it's like, damn, he like, I know how much he likes his shoes. So for him to get me the same pair of shoes, yeah. it's like, oh, shit. Like, he really fucks with Um, that. We dress totally different. Oh. I'm like a little hood baby. She's, like, from the whole other side of the world. Mm-hmm. And then so it's like my swag is totally different than her swag. Like, oh, it's like um, Princess Jasmine, like a whole new world. A whole new <laughs> I've never watched. Uh, you never watched Aladdin? I see what you did there. Yeah, I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Oh. Shut up. That was really good. <laughs> that went over my body's head. No, I, 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 I cut it. I cut it. I cut it. Hasmin. How do you say Jasmine in Spanish? Is Hasmin? Jasmine? Hasmin? Yeah. Okay. Nah, but yeah, yeah. Um, probably a pair of shoes. Nice. But is it a pair of shoes you like or she likes? No, no. I'm putting on to something new. How do you get her size? You just like, roll over. You ask like, like, hey, I'm gonna oh, get you a game. I'm, I'm not gonna be like, I mean, what do we do? Break into her house and look for her shoes? Because honestly, I, I don't have to wait till she takes out her I'm, shoes. Yeah. I've been a terrible <laughs> gift giver. Like, I'll get, mm. I'll give a girl something that. Man, I you like. give her the deals for Bath and Body Wash. No, no, I've like, done that before. No, like Fuck one them. time, one time, like. <laughs> Like a long time ago, my so son's mom. So if you get that, do not be happy. No, like a long time ago, my son's mom. Shit, I bought, I, I bought her like some like streetwear kind of, like <laughs> for like, girls like or a for shirt. Girl? Like it was like for girls, but like it wasn't like her swag. And I was just like, oh, I thought it was cool. Like, yeah. but I was really shopping for me, for and yourself. I seen that, and I was just like, oh, I'll get it for you. And then like months later, she was like, yo, that was the worst gift I've ever got wow. in my life. And I was just like, yeah, I was like, I'm not good at this. Like, do you still give um your mom's um your mom's your for your son's mom gifts? Even though y'all not together? No. no. <laughs> Why you say it like that? He <laughs> said it like... Do you go with your son to get a gift for her? You gotta just start like, 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 I don't want you want to touch her. <laughs> no, it wasn't that. I'm just like, no. Shout out to Lovix, mom. I don't do that. Yeah. No, yeah, I shout like, her. We fuck with I you. will get you a gift. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Um, my, first, my first Christmas with Jorge, he got me a coffee maker. Okay. And I was like... The fuck? <laughs> I thought you were gonna be happy about that. <laughs> that went left. <laughs> you waited on me coffee. What? You don't like coffee? But I still have it to this day. Okay, it's good. Do you guys use I, it? Pra- I use it every day. I use oh, it all the time. That's good. Uh, Practical gift. But still, gift. it's like you expect like oh like. But I get it. Like what did you expect? Like, oh, Rolex. Yeah. No, I don't. Didn't respect the Rolex. Didn't respect the Rolex. <laughs> didn't expect that. I'm not that person. Like yeah. I don't like the flashy stuff. He likes the flashy stuff. Um, What'd you get him? I got him a chain. Cologne. No, so I'm more thoughtful. So we had went to a movie. <coughs> Sorry. The, the tequila came back. We had went to a movie and it looked like one big. It was like made by Tom Ford. It was weird. It was like a Tom Tom Ford is a brand, and he's like this whole movie looked like a Tom Ford commercial. So I bought him Tom Ford sunglasses, like it tied into our relationship. Uh, and then we kept laughing at a, like a Vine or like a video of, a, a, little, of a little kid getting, yeah, it was, we've been together forever, okay? Um, of a little kid opening an avocado and being so happy that he got an avocado. 
Hey, he's like, I got an avocado. <laughs> so I got him an avocado. Like, I'm more like, That's like awesome. jokey. Especially, yeah. we started dating in the end of November. And so December was like not even a month. Yeah. So I just chose to be fast. thoughtful. How long and were you guys talking? Is expensive. How long were you guys talking before the? A day or two days or it's fine. It's fine. We're Mexican. It's fine. Also, oh, love at first sight. Sure. Avocado. I had known him for guys. years. I have known him since like 2012, yeah. but we got together like a couple days after our friend was like, "Hey, you guys should talk." Mm. Did you guys use avocado together? Or he used it separately. <laughs> Not with another did girl by himself. Did you guys eat the Shit. avocado? I don't know what he did with the avocado, but it was just a funny, like, yeah. little... little. Avocado That's toast. toast. Avocado toast. Avocado toast. <laughs> Saved, like, $10. Um, so I, I just thought that was cute. I, like, played off that, especially if we were so new. Yeah. Like, let me be jokey with you. Uh, That's dope. Yeah. I fuck with that. Yeah. And then the only good gift I ever got somebody, it wasn't for Christmas, it was for their birthday. I got them, like, Versace earrings. Damn. Yeah. But, it, but only because it had big V's on it. Oh, like, hilarious. And it was pretty funny. It was, it was full of was, Yeah, it was pretty I, funny. I'm the toxic guy. <laughs> Let them know. Let That's them ask, crazy. what's the V for? Exactly. Yeah. That's, See? It was pretty Fuck clever. Fuck y'all. Y'all are toxic as shit. <laughs> I'm getting pressed. She just forgot a Versace yeah. earrings that represented him. <laughs> You're getting her pair of shoes? Pairs of shoes. Pairs of shoes. A pair of shoes. Okay. <laughs> what shoes are you getting her? It's supposed to be a surprise. Get here. her get her big D earrings, like just big D right here. Give her big D. Oh, know? no. <laughs> I meant like the letter D. <laughs> so someone else. <laughs> All right. He used avocado for another girl. I don't care. <laughs> this conversation always gets so awkward. You know, lady wants to have her sex jokes. <laughs> He's like older sister. <laughs> but I'm not. Stop treating me like that. Treat my... me treat me like a younger sister. I don't have I don't have one, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> All right, well CNR. All right. Before we leave. Carna <laughs> Salonino Rival, Christmas movie edition. The Grinch, Home Alone, and Elf. Carna Sada Nino Rival. Go. Home Alone, Nino, The Grinch, Karnasada, Elf Rival. What? The Elf is like the best movie ever made known to man. And Elves. Did you watch it? Yes. You didn't like it? You think it was, didn't think it was funny? It was cool, but I prefer The Grinch. Wow. Shaking my head. SMH. The Grinch is like super cool. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he just, <laughs> cool shit. Like, 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 I like, I like, you're an actor, right? like you're, I, you're an actor, right? Facts. I tell a piece of Home Alone. <laughs> <laughs> I tell a piece of Elf. I don't know. I, I, you have to give me like a small chair and let me sit on it. Like, <laughs> you're like, doing like that. When, <laughs> when, 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 <laughs> Relax, Elf. Yeah. <laughs> fuck it, I own it. I like when he was in the shower. That shit is funny yeah. as fuck. No, I think I, if I think they're all great movies, I just prefer. I like the the whole Grinch thing. I like how it became like a super like, like now like somebody could call you the Grinch if you're mad. It just like. Right. Longevity for that movie is amazing. Got it. Facts. Epic. Um, Grinch will definitely be Nino. Grew up on that movie. Still. You grew up on the Grinch. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Yeah, like, it's my sister's it favorite kid. movie of all time, mm. my sister Brianna. Her gender reveal was Grinch-themed. Wow. It was, like, it's serious. Like, she yeah. knows every single line in that in movie, movie from beginning wow. to end. No the joke. one with, old oh, dude, with, with Ace Jim Ventura. Carrey. Yeah. With, with Ace Ventura. <laughs> old Don't dude. disrespect him. <laughs> Ace Ventura is an incredible character. I mean, yeah, but, like. Jim yeah. Carrey's the one that really. Yeah. Okay, and then um, I would say Elf is uh, Carne Asada. Thank you. Because I, I like to watch it. Um, but Elf is that's great. disrespectful Elf is to him. Yeah, I like to, I like to watch it. Bro, you disrespect that Home Alone there. though. I love Home Alone, but it's like, say it, Vic. Say it, Vic. Do it, Vic. Say it, Vic. Say some stupid shit. Do it, like Vic. a bro. No, okay, look. You're fucking poor. You're never gonna know what being Home Alone is no, like look. in his house. Like we're never gonna know his life. Look, my problem with Home Alone. Oh, he said it. Oh yeah, I tell you just excuse me. No, we're he, fucking poor. So he lived in a household with like thirty people. Yeah, no, but each they, had a room, not like in one room like us. So they spread the the, the rent. All right. <laughs> my main problem with with Home Alone, although it was a good movie, it was entertaining and funny stuff. Funny movie, so funny. Um. There's no Mexicans in it at all. Oh, 
So okay, you and these no Mexicans. Someone's gonna there's come no out Mexicans and say in Home fucking, Alone or one Grinch. The, one of those fools. But is, that was is not that or was Elf. Not, that was there was Mexicans. There was Mexicans in, in Elf. Enough. Okay, yeah. there was no Mexicans in the mail room. In the mail room, yeah, yeah sadly. See, but. The Grinch was like a whole different universe. They lived in a snowflake, yeah, bro. They, were they could have been Mexicans there. They no, were Mexicans who's. don't live in they snowflakes. Were who's. Yeah, it's wait, a whole different. They could have been Guinness. Wait, wait, wait the Grinch humans. was made by Dr. Seuss. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and yeah, there's just like, how are you gonna? What do you mean? Like Mexican people leave their kids home alone all the time. The ro- one of the robbers is probably like half Mexican, so. Nah, it was just like, come on, it just wasn't realistic. Joe Pesci the yeah, Joe and, Pesci. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it was cool. It was a cool movie. Like, I enjoy it and stuff like that. But I don't enjoy it as much as I do the other movies. Maybe as a bad kid, I enjoyed it how creative he was to injure them. It's the best yeah. Christmas movie of all time. Bro, what? Okay, but you're 89, so, Thanks. you know? <laughs> the fact that so you think the elf and they still <laughs> play it every day on TBS. So. <laughs> the fact that you think Elf is better than God's so rad. That's so weird. Okay, go ahead. So Elf is the best movie of all time. Oh my uh, god! Will Ferrell's awesome though. Will Ferrell. Is he's 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 amazing. That Step movie Brothers is my favorite movie ever. I could watch Elf over and over and over again, cause it's all in my head. Keep thinking about it over and over again. No. He does not know it. He said that's all banger. Josh, you know it. Yeah. Who Tim is it? Uh, Nelly. Yeah. Tim McGraw. Yes. Yeah. I love it. Oh, Angie, you Nelly. know this song, right? Yeah. Okay, so. But I'm gonna do. Hmm, the, Dude. I feel like. Elf's your Nino? I haven't said what Elf is. Oh. I just said I love Elf. It's the greatest movie of all time. Grinch is definitely not my Nino. Grinch is probably my rival. This fool is an op already. Like, he's the rival. Like, he's the bad person. He's a bad anything. Like, Grinch is the Grinch. You don't wanna be the Grinch. Mm-mm. The people turned him that way. True. The people turned me how I am, and you guys still make me the enemy. You don't care. La Grinch. Yeah. <laughs> no? Yeah, well, I'm, that way. I'm alive, but I'm dead. I'm dead. alive, but I'm dead. Okay, yeah, Grinch is the op, because clearly, right? Okay, Home Alone and Elf. Yeah, Home Alone's going carne asada vibes, because I will only watch Home Alone because Jorge loves it so much. Um, I think it's a kids, a guy kids movie. Like, you know how you said there's no Mexicans? The girls were, like, like not there. Very really. ancillary like, characters, yeah. yeah. It was about a, a little dude's coming of age story, like getting back bad guys. It's low key like Dennis the Menace. Mm-hmm. Um, what, Maximo? Dennis the Menace is right there. It was just Dennis the Menace during Christmas. <laughs> like, literally, that's, that's what. A good point. That's was. a good point. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was left. Dennis was bad the whole time. If I'm left, I'm sitting in the room crying. I'm not creating all these crazy contraptions to. He the had bad to survive. Guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with Maximo. Elf is Nino because Elf is just a good time. Elf just makes you happy. This fool sings. This mm-hmm. fool is like nothing in the world, even the bad shit in the world can't face him. Yeah. Like he got run over by a fucking taxi and was hilarious about it. Like the yellow ones don't stop. Like that shit was so funny. I also saw Elf with my dad, which is one of the very few movies he saw in a movie theater. So I love Elf. I just love how he's like, you're not Santa. Yeah. He's sitting on a throne of ice. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking hilarious. I love it's that It's an so incredible much. movie because he committed. Yeah. He committed to the character that's so oblivious to human nature. Yeah. And is just thinking like an elf. He's a fucking legend. Fucking we're, I'm, but we're not discrediting quote. the artist that's in the movie. Yeah. Will Ferrell is number one. Um, he is my, my Nino. Stepbrother's and yes, duh, I have these elf ears for a reason. Because he's your Nino. Are elves Wendis? Oh, I thought she was just from out of the ranks. Oh. Oh. Ron? E- Don't get me started. Okay. <laughs> I still think, even though, Gr- yeah, but the people turned the Grinch the Grinch. Yeah. He didn't want to be the Grinch. Okay, I get it, but he still was the Grinch. But at the end, he showed he had a heart of gold. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He taught everybody. Yeah, I just think I never really watched the Grinch like that. I mm. would rather watch Nightmare Before Christmas than watch the Grinch. And that's like a low-key half Halloween movie, half, half Christmas sal- salvi movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> um, that's it. That's crazy. Happy Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And to the grandmas that are probably watching, pasa bolitas que no entiendo lo que estamos viendo. Feliz Navidad, doña. Y que y sus pero años. What are your Christmas plans? Um, with the family and the homies. Kick it at my pop's crib, and then the 24th, and then the 25th. 
I don't know. I'll probably go visit my grandma. Yeah. We're probably going to go to Jorge's family's house because my sister's in, like, I think she's going to go to Big Bear. Shout out to her. Mm. Um, but, yeah. What is everyone else's plans? How is everyone else doing? You guys celebrate the 24th, 25th? 24th. has to be 24th. Mm -hmm. Feliz Navidad. Jose, you ready? Do a clip like this of just the snow. The snow doesn't go like that. Okay. That's a rainbow. Thank That's you. a rain, I think. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> If you want to send us a Christmas present, our P.O. box, we'll put it in the link. 3109 in the bio. Hollywood, California. If you want to send us a Christmas 90078. present. Yeah. Facts. We'll be back next week for our New Year's Eve episode. New Year's. We will be dressed all flashy, so make sure you dress flashy too. I'm not going to do it. I'm not dressing up. I'm over it. <laughs> I'm not, I don't trust you guys. Like you said. I came festive. I, that's why I didn't. Because, he came festive. because last time we all okay, agreed so to do like, something. So then this time we did it and you didn't. So next time let's all do it. Pinky swear? Pinky swear. Don't Pinky fuck with me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I looked oh, crazy no. last time. Don't worry, like that. That's as pretty as you know. But. <laughs> 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 I'm going to come in sweats next week. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come ready for the club. Mm, yeah. Mm, 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 Cause mm. I really want to wear my dress. I don't want to be the only one. Can um, I come in jeans and a nice tee? I'm gonna wear an open uh, shirt. What um, would you wear on New Year's Eve? Come on. I'm wear a top Let's hat. Let's start off the New Year strong. Jeans I have this shirt. really nice gold Pro dress. Pro it's like Pro to the Pro floor. Pro it's beautiful. Oh, so you so you're coming for like a ball? Eve, oh, can, can we get those stupid glasses that say yeah, like 2022? 2022? I'll yes, wear them all episode. On, I don't care. Please, let's do that shit. I like that. Okay. Let's I'm with it. it, I'm with it, I'm with it. Episode 27. Seven. Feliz Navidad, you guys. R.P. Draco. Peace up, A-Town Down. Peace. Is, is, is that a thing? Yeah.